<laughs> What's up, guys? Small Vernicator back again. How's everybody doing? Um, we are on uh, day 21 of the Superhero Challenge, and today on that challenge, it is... It is... Favorite weapon, armor, or gear? Now, once again, the question is kind of a little jolted because it's like, okay, either or, but as you know me, guys, I'm going doing it my way. So, with that being said, I'm going to give you favorite weapons, uh, armor, and gear in comics. And I have six favorite weapons I chose, one armor for the meaning of it, and a few gear. So let's start off with the uh, weapons. First on there is, of course, Mjolnir, Thor's trusty hammer. Whosoever holds this hammer will gain the power of Thor. As you all know, Thor's hammer, Mjolnir, is a powerful weapon. It is, it is just a cool weapon to me. I've always loved that. Here's the god of thunder, the Norse god of thunder, throws his hammer, calls it back, chink, and everything... Now, if you're using it more in terms of real Norse mythology, it's funny because in actual Norse, Thor's hammer is actually longer. It was actually longer than it is. It was like a real hammer, real long sledgehammer, um, depending on depiction of what it was. But here, it's smaller where Thor can use it. I always loved that old school Thor where he would swing it around and throw it up in the air and, he, and basically launch him in the air and things like that. Of course, it helps him control his you know lightning and things like that and it over time marvel really started to make it seem like it has some sentient aspects to it like it almost has a mind of its own in a sense there's more to it than what it is and i really appreciated that next on the list of course is cap shield um captain america throws his mighty shield yeah i'm, I'm sorry uh but yeah i mean come on um it's a defensive weapon. It is a weapon. It's more defensive. It has suit Cap very well. I mean, the dynamics of it is really, you know, cool. You know, Cap can throw it and it will bing off of things and he can catch it and use it. I mean, we've seen him actually break things with it or, or things like that. But it's more of a defensive weapon. And don't... And fuck that shit if anybody says, well... He can't you he can't do anything without that shield. That's bullshit because that's been shown that he can. Um, it is made out of vibranium, uh, adamantium alloys also in there. Mostly all the unbreakable metals are in that shield. Um, yeah, it was broken before once by you know Thanos things like that, and that's in the actual comic. I mean, we're not just talking about in the movie, but it's it's still a cool weapon. Um, and only Steve, uh, Hawkeye can use it the way Steve can, and, uh, Bucky can. Everybody else, oh no, Sam, Sam did a good job, uh, when he was Captain America, but everybody else who tries to throw that shield, then they'll, they'll break their arm or shatter their arm. It's been proven that too. Uh, next on the list I have to go with is, uh, Wonder Woman's Lasso. I know a lot of people say, oh, Lasso of Truth, it's a weapon too. She's used that as a defensive weapon and an offensive weapon. It not only just, if the, it grabs you or she puts it around you or you touch it, you reveal the truth. But it is a weapon. It is one of, when you think about Wonder Woman, you're thinking about that Lasso. There are other, th other aspects of weapons she carries, but that trusty Lasso is always by her side, no matter the look. No matter what she, the costume design is. I mean, yeah, in the 60s, she they try to go for more of the, the spy look, but still, she, that lasso is truly a glorious weapon, and that's that's all to it. Uh, next on the list, of course, is Green Lantern's ring, the, the power ring. Let's let's be honest, that is a unbelievable weapon for something so small. It is one of the most powerful weapons in, I guess you could say, the DC Universe. Uh, the Green Lanterns use it. It is controlled by Green Lantern's will. Anything they can think of, they can make it. 
and yes, now the Green Lanterns can kill if they need to. So it's not like, because remember, Green Lanterns, they weren't allowed to kill, but now they can kill if they need to, if it's justified. But it'd be really cool to be able to use that ring. It allows them to fly. You can fly out in space. It'll keep you from, you know, <laughs> dying of air. And just imagine, your, if you have an imagination like mine, the stuff I would be making with that ring would be crazy. It will put Hal Jordan to shame. Um, and next on the list, because I got my list right here, um, is Aquaman's Triton. Um, I've always been a, a very, it's been very interesting for Aquaman to use that Triton and they put more meaning into the Triton. It's not like, oh, it's just a normal artifact or weapon that he had. But it is cool to see how he, he uses it, when he uses it, how capable he's able to use it. And for someone who is a king, you would expect a kind of powerful weapon like that. So you give it to Aquaman's Triton, definitely. It, uh, it serves a purpose. Next up uh, on the list uh, we're going to go is the armor. Um, with, with armors, guys, it's harder for me, but you got to break it down to the point. For me, it's more broken down to if somebody's wearing an armor that you usually don't see wearing armor, that means shit got real. And the armor that I'm talking about right now, out of everything, is Black Panther's ebony armor. The reason why I chose the Black Panther's ebony armor, simple. Because he don't really need it, but he's already a fierce warrior king monarch that he is. But when he puts that armor, you knew, you know, shit just got real. In, either in Wakanda or wherever that he put that armor and if he's if you notice he's got the shield and of course he's got the ebony blade and even though that's not even his but still when T'Challa's got this on there's, there's a reason for it it's not like Iron Man it's not like anything else when he has this on there's there's something something seriously going next on the list of course is uh, is a gear when it comes to gear it's you can look at it oh this is something that a hero or heroine uses as well and or just gives them a little bit more and one of them in particular for me is surfers the silver surfers surfboard I mean he wouldn't be called the silver surfer if he didn't have that that famous board my board to me you know um, this this surfboard allows uh, Norin to travel light speeds in the blackest of space um, it seems to also have its mind of its own similar to Thor's hammer but it is a it is a, it is one of his gear I look at it as gear that it wouldn't be if he didn't have it you know what I'm saying uh, next on the list is the helm of Naboo um, Kent Nielsen, you name the other people who've worn it. The Helm of Naboo, Dr. Fate's famous helmet, uh, which does have a kind of a mind of its own too, um, is a powerful artifact. It is the one of the, the key elements or gear to Dr. Fate. You know it's Dr. Fate when you see him with that famous helmet on. It's not the, the blue or yellow, the cloak and things like that. You see that helmet on him, it's like, oh, it's Dr. Fate. Dr. Fate. So definitely the helm of Naboo is definitely up there. Next on the list, of course, is the Eye of Agamotto. Another fa famous artifact that all, all Sorcerer Supremes have used. Uh, yes, it was created by Agamotto, who was the first Sorcerer Supreme. And this eye allows the Sorcerer Supreme it ups their magical abilities as well as him able to do other things from using it to foresee some of the future or time travel or stop time and things like that. Um, it is a powerful artifact and if you don't see that with then that's kind of like that's a uh, that's a relic or an item that you're not the Sorcerer's Queen without that. You can be without the Cloak of Levitation but that 
that amulet, the eye of Agamotto, is where it's at. Uh, of course, on the list, of course, is Wonder Woman's Gauntlets of Atlas. Or, yeah, right? Yes. Or, or, or her gauntlets. Um, it's not Wonder Woman out those either. You know, do I look at those as weapons? No. Because she's not using them truly as weapons. They're more defensive. They're gear that she used to block projectiles and everything like that. Yes, in the movie, they allowed, yeah, they, when she brings it together, it pushes people back or things like that. But to me, they're, they're, a, they're a gear that Diana uses, and it's always a part of her. You, you see, you may not see her using her shield or her sword, but there are two things that are always with Diana. That lasso, these golden gauntlets, period. And of course the tiara so that time, yeah. But yes, I look at the uh, the, gaunt the gauntlets of Atlas uh, definitely as a, one of my favorite gears. And um, last but not least on the list um, goes to Spidey's web shoes. Let's be honest, guys. I've always found it cool that Peter was able to create these pressurized kind of like you know bracelets or anklets it does that go around his arm he's able to sh it takes a, a certain amount of pressure for him to shoot these webs out this webbing that he created um and it doesn't like it won't if he makes a fist the webbing won't come out oh god or in his face or anything like he that just shows how brilliant Peter is to learn how to, the, the, there's, there's a certain amount of pressure that's needed to make this, make the, make sure these web shooters don't, he's, he's shooting people in the face or anything like, he doesn't shoot himself when he's baking a fist or anything like that. Um, without the web shooters as well, no Spider-Man in a sense, those are some of his key gear. And that's, that's what it is. Is one of his key gear. So I, I choose. That's another one of my favorite gear. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I had a good time. I have a lot of gear. I didn't go with a lot of like somebody like Wolverine's claws or something like that because those are a part of him. Um, I didn't go with like a bow and arrow because to me, Hawkeye or or Shaft from the Young Bloods. Or, or Green Arrow, and they can shoot any bow they want. It's not like their bow is special. Let's be honest, it's not. They're just regular bows. Um, but it's still cool. Got to give them credit for that. Uh, so I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys got to think, guys. Um, I will see you guys next time. Tomorrow, uh, we're going to the next one on the list will be... Um, most shocking superhero moment I got a couple for you with that one and with that being said guys take care deuces